Baker Gate scandal allegations. Another arrest has taken place by the Enforcement Directorate, and this is beyond the national capital, Delhi. It has touched the doors of Telangana, as was uh, the speculation was rife earlier as well. ED has made another arrest and has arrested BRS Neta K Kavita's alleged frontman. ED has arrested one Arun Pillai, a Hyderabad-based businessman, in the liquor scam allegations. Arun Ramachandran Pillai, who was allegedly the frontman of K Kavita in the liquor businesses in Delhi, have been arrested by the ED. A businessman has been arrested by the Enforcement Directorate. This is big news coming in. We'll try and quickly uh, get our reporters on the ground to tell us more details on that. Remember, this is apart from uh, the arrest that has taken place of former Delhi Deputy Chief Minister and Education Minister Manish Sisodia and other businessmen as well. There was a note by the ED and a claim that there was a meeting that, is, that took place in a hotel where there were drafts that were changed and eligibility criteria also changed. Munish Pandey joining me now. Uh, for the latest as he's got us this big news. This is uh, crucial, Munish, because this now goes beyond Delhi. This brings in Telangana and K. Kavita, who had been in the dock for ED. Absolutely, Pooja. And uh, as far as this arrest is concerned, what ED sources have told in yesterday that Arun Ramchandra Pillai is a person who held several meetings with Vijay Nair on behalf of K. Kavita. And why he was uh, holding these meetings with Vijay Nair, the communication in charge of Ahmadi Party, because he was the front of K. Kavita. What ED is claiming at this point of time is that there was a company which was formed by Arun Ramchand Pillai on behalf of K. Kavita. And uh, in, on behalf of K. Kavita, he was doing the business under the new excise policy which was brought in by the Ahmadi Party in year 2021-2022. So his arrest becomes extremely important as far as the case is concerned. But what becomes more important than this is the fact that now the... Uh, probe has widened, not only limited to Delhi, but also in Telangana, and there is now a direct link uh, in the uh, of K Kavita in the liquor scam. So uh, there is a high possibility. Just that to the quick timeline, really, scam. how is the ED one by one trying to corner these individuals? Because the liquor policy was withdrawn uh, within one year of its implementation in 2022, but by then it had become a huge showdown. How is the ED investigating this Delhi Telangana link? Because he he could just be a businessman. How is he being alleged by the ED that he's a he's a front man for K Kavita? Well, the enforcement directorate claims that when the new excise policy was brought in or being drafted, there was a bribe of 100 crore rupees which was paid by the South Group. South Group also included Arun Ramchandra Pillai. Now, when the uh, financial trail was being probed by the enforcement retreat. What they claimed that Arun Pillai is the person who was doing business. When they started probing Arun Pillai, they got to know that uh, Arun Ramchand Pillai was just a uh, front man for K Kavita. So, as of now, these are allegations and claims made by the. This will have to uh, be proven. Manish, I request you to please stay on with me because, of course, this has uh, been, apart from the investigation, a political showdown as well. Joining me from the BJP, Krishna Sagar Rao, for the latest on that. Uh, Mr. Rao, uh, you know, this is big. This is in many ways linking the Ahmadmi party to the BRS with regard to the liquor scam allegations. Uh, what do you have to say to that? See, I think the case is coming to a conclusive point right now because all those who are accused and accused and uh, questioned are now being arrested. Uh, I think uh, the, the case is going to its logical conclusion. That's what we believe. And uh, we also believe that there is... Uh, uh, the pandering to Congress lingo of uh, political vendetta. Yes. This has become a very easy word to use. Uh, Aam Aadmi Party is using it so, uh, you know, so regularly as much as uh, Rahul Gandhi is doing outside the country. Now, one thing they have to answer is that if there was no fire, where is all the smoke from? And if the liquor policy was so clean, why did they cancel it? And who actually constructed this? Uh, manufactured this liquor policy. It was not BJP or uh, Government of India. It was their own. But we want to ask them, which is the committee which has created this uh, policy? But, but, but do you think this is just a businessman who's been arrested and must be investigated? Of course, charges have to be proven. Or is this a K, a K. Kavita's direct involvement? Because this is, uh, you know, at the door of K. Kavita, at the door of the Chief Minister KCR as well. So this definitely takes a huge turn. See, we are... See, we are not actually attacking anyone uh, at the behest of a political uh, course or a political goal. We are clearly asking if your name has come up mm. so many times in a case, eventually you will be questioned. 
and then investigate it. So you need to have faith in the judiciary and also the legal system and enforcement to ensure that, uh, you know, you come clean. If at all, you haven't done anything. But all the, you know, evidence right now is uh, pointing at also Kavita. Because uh, Kavita, why is she involved in South Group? If, now, she has to openly say that I am not in South Group if she is not. Is, uh, the, then, is the BJP you know, going to demand her arrest also of K. Kavita? No, I think uh, whether we demand or not, uh, the law enforcement will do what it has to do. Because uh, as they are pointing at us and saying it's political, we don't want to get involved in any uh, finger pointing at this point of time. We are only saying that if there is such a big scandal which happens, mm. it has to come to a conclusive end. It has to come to a conclusive point. And the law enforcement agency has to do what they have to do. The law has to take its own course. Mr. Krishna Sagar, my, my final be question would be because, uh, for example, the Amadi Party or uh, the BRS or even the RJD are saying that because they are in the opposition, that's why the Bharatiya Janata Party, via the agencies, is going after them. Yeah, that, that they can say if there was uh, no at all. Now, we haven't created this case. This is what I'm fundamentally saying. The liquor policy was not formulated by Bharatiya Janata Party. The liquor policy was not constituted by the government mm. of India. It is the Amadmi Party government which has formulated it. Then why did they cancel it? And everyone who were in Delhi, who were living in Delhi know that how can a bottle get a bottle free? How can you extend the hours of uh, trade, of liquor? How can you actually increase twice the number of wines uh, or liquor stores? Now what is all this point and what is this South Group doing? In a Delhi liquor policy, uh, oh. what is this hanging out of 150 crores, up to yes. 150 crores? So and I remember when this policy that, was announced, it uh, came, of course, as a huge surprise and relief for many, of course, for getting one plus one free. But then there were murky details that started to surface. BJP is attacking now at these parties. Krishna Sagar Rao, I just have one more question on this. How do you see this panning out? Because this is, uh, this is huge political showdown. I understand this is the investigating agency with strong leads they have into this, and that's why they are going ahead with the arrest too. But K. Kavita has been very resilient. And she's saying, I have nothing to do with this. My name is simply being dragged in it. Yeah, you know, good for her. If it is just a you know, political stunt for anyone, it should be proved in the court of law very soon. So uh, we wish her best. But at the same time, everyone she seems to know are now in jail already. So she should answer questions, some questions at least, uh, or whether uh, CBI will go ahead and take her in. It is the uh, it is the law bodies, it is the law enforcement agencies which have to do what they have to do. We are not urging for anything. We are only saying answer the questions. And right, uh, what, what is that? Thank you so much for joining me.